got it. Okay, so if I'm not in the greens, you know where I'm going to be? It's in the beans. Here I am in the bean aisle at the Boat Shed store in Puddleslow. We're in, out in the outskirts of Perth, by the way, Western Australia. Beautiful little town right near the beach. Uh, and look at this variety and abundance of nuts and seeds and beans they have here available for us. This is where we get involved in the sprouting part of things. Also in soaking, if you want to make your own seed milks, your own nut milks, all of this stuff is here. It's available for you. Um, in terms of beans, we've got things like, um, I don't even know what these are. We have soya beans, we have chickpeas, we have borlotti beans, we have um, barley up here. And then we go into the lentils. Lentils are some of my favorite beans to sprout, but I just want to show you what not to buy and what to buy. So with lentils, we don't want to buy the ones that are halved for sprouting because they won't actually sprout. So whether they're green or orange or yellow or brown, it doesn't matter. We just want to make sure it's a whole lentil bean, like this one. So this is the kind of bean that we want to use for sprouting. And this whole bag is $3.95. I mean, that's a great price. This, I can tell you, I mean, I don't know what you guys think about sprouting, but these actually expand when you soak them. And this will make a lot of sprouts. A bag like this would last me about a month at home for sprouting. Then we have all the almonds. We have cashews. We have uh, walnuts. We have pine nuts. We have pumpkin seeds. We have sesame seeds. All of these things we can soak, we can put into the blender to make our seed milks, our nut milks, use the sprouting bags uh, to, to, to drain it and to make our own um, fresh, nutritious protein drinks at home. Guys, I just want to get you excited about this so you realize you can go out there, you can find this stuff easily, and you can get started right away. Thanks.